Hey everybody, it's Nikki and I've got a really exciting update for you guys regarding the LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary Final Missing Minifigure. This is information I have thanks to my good friend Max, who I highly recommend you guys go follow, go support his channel. Not only is he a great person, but he always comes in clutch with those LEGO Star Wars updates. So as suspected, we do know that there are six 25th Anniversary minifigures all coming in this wave of anniversary sets. Arc Trooper 5's in the Boarding the Tantiv set, Darth Malak in the Buildable R2 set, Saw Gerrera in the upcoming Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator set, Cal Kestis in a Death Star set, which I am so excited to see set pictures for, and Young Leia, who I'm also really eager to see. I'm not sure what set it is that she's coming in. I think it's rumored to be some sort of buildable creature. Off the top of my head, I don't know what that could be from the Obi-Wan show, but it also could be something unrelated, given their track record with these minifigures and sets. So it was rumored that Darth Maul in the new Visual Dictionary set was going to be the last 25th anniversary figure, but it appears as though because he comes in a Visual Dictionary and not one of the 25th anniversary sets, that he's more of an additional figure. And in light of this new information, we do know that it is not actually going to be a minifigure, but rather a droid. And that droid is going to be R2KT. KT is actually my go-to droid in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, so I do really love this little pink droid. She's made appearances in Clone Wars, she has a Hasbro figure, she's in pins at Disneyland. So the story for this droid. R2 Katie was named after a little girl named Katie. Now, Katie was the daughter of Alvin Johnson, who was the founder of the 501st Legion, which is basically this fan organization. You may have heard me mention it before. These people are exceptionally cool. They're all fans of Star Wars. They make their own armor, 3D print it much like what Noah does. In fact, he really does hope to join one of their legions or one of their groups one day. And they go to May 4th events. I've seen them at the Lego store before. I've taken pictures with a few of them. They do a lot of charity work. They'll go to weddings. Like they'll just do tons of things, but it's mostly a charity kind of organization. So Mr. Johnson, who again did create the 501st First Legion had a young daughter named Katie, and this is a very, very sad story. So Katie was unfortunately and very, very sadly terminally ill with a brain tumor. Now Katie, like her dad, was a very big fan of Star Wars. In fact, she loved droids especially, and her father, Mr. Johnson, decided he wanted to make Katie her own pink droid that would protect her while she slept, much like R2 did for Padme in the prequel trilogy and in all of Clone Wars. So people rallied together, they donated parts, they did everything they could to help Mr. Johnson create this droid for Katie, which luckily they successfully did before she very, very sadly passed away. But Katie did get to spend a lot of time with R2 Katie, which was just really special, I'm sure, for her. And it's, oh, it's such a tragic story. It's really hard to tell, actually. And now R2 Katie actually goes around to lots of charity events, lots of children's hospitals, and brings a lot of joy and inspiration, I'm sure, to lots of other little children. But Katie's droid does again appear in Star Wars, The Clone Wars. She was actually in one of the movies recently. I forgot about that but it is just very nice that her story gets lived on through this droid. So R2 Katie is the final 25th anniversary figure that is appearing for this series. I will leave a link below to the story of Katie. I think she has her own website and some of the sources that I used for this information. But that is the story of Katie who inspired R2 KT. So this info was actually sort of teased about a month ago on Instagram via Childish Landing Chronicles, who posted a 25th anniversary block and an RT unit surrounded by pink tiles. So this last 25th anniversary figure of KT will appear in October with 383 pieces, still an unknown set. Feel free to leave your guesses down below as to what she could come in. But with less than 400 pieces, I would say that's probably gonna be pretty small, hopefully not an expensive one either. Either way, I am personally going to get it for sure because again, I have a lot of love for this droid. I have a lot of respect for this story of Katie, an immense amount of respect for Mr. Johnson, her father who founded this legion that does all of this charity work. It's really just a beautiful story. I don't know, I feel, I feel pretty emotional telling it to be honest. But anyway, that is all the updates I have for you guys. It's been a really long time since I've done one of these videos and I really enjoyed it. Thank you again to my friend Max for providing this information and definitely be sure to go support his YouTube channel. Again, he is an amazing source of Lego information. So let me know what your thoughts are on this final 25th anniversary LEGO Star Wars minifigure. Again, I am over the moon excited about it. I really think that they chose the perfect one. Hit that like button for love and support to Katie and her family. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.